Hello everyone, I'm Shahnath. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today in this video, I'll be talking about Google Summer of Code. And basically, I've divided this video into five segments. And the first segment is what is Google Summer of Code. The second segment is what are its eligibility criteria. The third one is the process uh, of applying to GSOC 2022. The fourth one is what are the benefits. And the fifth and last one is uh, about tips uh, for GSOC 2022 and I'll be also announcing something at the end of the video so stay tuned till the end. So now let's uh, jump into the part uh, or the first segment but before that I want to like tell you guys that I did GSOC at TensorFlow in the previous year that is 2021. Uh, you can find my project link in the description as well as I'll be attaching my proposal link in the description as well. So let's start the video. So now let, let me tell you that what is GSOC? So basically GSOC is Google Summer of Code. It is an online mentorship program. Uh, basically it's an annual program which is organized by Google. Uh, organizations like uh, GitLab, then uh, Mozilla Firefox, VLC, Python. These are the organizations who comes up with projects and they enlist their projects in every in the project section and uh, developers like me or the mentees uh, they select one of the projects or two of the projects they make proposal out of it and then they tend to submit it in the organization portal and if they get selected they will be receiving mail and uh, all of the things will be getting started like you'll be starting to code the phase one will start and then the phase two so this is basically what gsoc is so basically the main motive of gsoc is to actually encourage the open source uh, work or the open source communities so that every everyone gets benefited from it so yeah so this is, the, this is our first segment so now let's jump into the second segment which is the eligibility criteria so uh, for doing gsoc you need to be uh, 18 years or above and you can be a working professional as well as you can be a college student uh, it depends on your use case you can be anything and uh, yeah this year the rule has been changed but, but in the previous year only the students or the college students can actually do this work but from this year uh, both like both college student as well as professional can do that and uh, you can do gsoc uh, maximum two times uh, after that you you are not eligible to do gsoc so these are the eligibility criteria very simple and very very straightforward now let's uh, jump into the process so in the month of february uh, the organization list will be announced and uh, projects will be getting displayed one by one uh, in the gsoc website and then you can go through the project doc uh, each project doc will be like uh, containing the prerequisites and all of the stuff you can go through it easily and can uh, find your best project i'll be telling i'll be like giving you a tip that uh, make a google doc and uh, select uh, the organizations first which uh, matches your domain and then filter out the projects one by one and then filter out more and more projects which you are more confident of uh, to do so you can do like that and then after that you should make a proposal uh, get in touch with your mentors and also get your proposal reviewed by your mentors it is very crucial and uh, after making your proposal and i also like to tell you that give 100 percent in making your proposal because it's the thing which will make you select so give 100 percent to that proposal and uh, after making that proposal you need to submit it by the end of april if i'm not wrong and in the mid of march or the end of the march you'll be getting results that whether you are selected for gsoc or not so after getting selected for gsoc uh, you will be uh, the coding community bonding period will be started and in that three week span uh, you'll be getting in touch with your mentors you'll be uh, discussing about what are the projects what what will the project look like what will be the timeline and all of the stuff you'll be finalizing that and you'll be finalizing all of the work through throughout the coding phase one and phase two after doing that the phase one and the phase two starts after phase one ends you need to submit a feedback form and then your mentor will also submit a feedback form and will also give you some feedbacks and uh, in that evaluation uh, we'll be uh, like uh, getting to know that you have passed the first evaluation or not and after 
uh, going through the first evaluation the second coding phase will start and similarly everything will be uh, same and then at the end of the video uh, like sorry not end of the video at the end of the coding phase 2 you need to submit a project report it can be a uh, github readme or it can be a medium blog post i have written both of them you can find it in the description i'll link that uh, link that and uh, also you'll be making prs throughout the journey this is a very constant thing but yeah you need to make a report and uh, put all of your code uh, in one repository for that you can use media that i told you so this is the basic process and after that uh, after the second evaluation uh, you'll be uh, receiving a mail that congratulations you have uh, successfully completed your gsoc journey and also you'll be getting a certificate which i will be like showing it to you in the right or the left side uh, so it will be looking like this and after that uh, this is the whole process of gsoc and uh, let's jump into our fourth segment which is uh, benefits of uh, doing gsoc or open source so gsoc uh, will actually open your doors to many opportunities which you will never think of uh, even uh, you'll be getting hired uh, if you are doing gsoc uh, in fact um, i am working in blend right now and i got hired uh, through open source and uh, if you want to know more about my blend journey then you can comment it down i will surely make a video out of it and then uh, you'll be getting to know many of the people you, your network will increase uh, you'll be getting to know the organization pretty well how organization works how big companies works just for example i uh, work with tensorflow so i got to know that what are the coding ethics uh, uh, in Google works and all of the stuffs, how to write proper reports, how to make proper pull requests and all of the stuff. You all will also like, you will also uh, learn how to write clean code and your code will be reviewed and then you'll be merged. So it's, it's pretty overwhelming and fascinating thing. And, and also like you'll be getting some monetary, uh, th monetary funds as well for completing your project successfully. So these are the total benefits and now let's come into the tip section and also the announcement so uh gsoc 2021 student mentees like us uh, we decided to make an organization uh for the upcoming batches uh, like for gsoc 2022 2023 we made an organization in github where you can find all of our proposals as well as our project reports so you don't have to ping anyone to actually uh, tell you that please guide us uh, with with our proposals please review our, review our proposals we will surely review that but you can easily access those uh, project reports and proposals in that uh, organization i'll be showing it to you everything in the next video but i'll link down the organization in the description you can go and have a look and we are actually maintaining that organization there are there are actually two uh, repositories one is uh, the proposal archive and the other is uh, report archive so you can go through it and it is uh, it is organized uh, like year wise like 2021 then uh, in 2021 there are many organizations and uh, uh, the folder each organization folder will be there and you'll be dumping your uh, proposal like I, I have dumped my proposal there so you can check it out as well so these are things uh, we took it as initiative uh, we took that initiative and build that organization so i hope uh, this will help the community much more uh, than before so yeah this this was our uh, small initiative and for tips i'll be telling you that focus on one project and make a proposal out of it get in touch with your mentors and get your proposal reviewed uh, i I'm, i'll be telling these things uh, in every video because these are very very crucial thing uh, which you should follow in order to get selected in gsoc and uh, also like give 100 percent while doing and uh, don't uh, stop interacting with your mentors be interactive and ask questions uh, if you have and uh, do do contribute to the open source by writing blogs by creating open source projects in your github or by solving issues it, it, it is upon you what 
what you are comfortable of so yeah so this much for this video i hope uh, you guys like the video and if you like the video then do like uh, like the video and subscribe the channel and also share it with your friends so that they can also find this uh, video useful and uh, so yeah this much for this video i'll be meeting you in the next one and in the next video i'll be showing you that how you can select your organizations as well as how you can uh, i'll be also going through the organization which we have created uh, where you will find where you'll be finding all of the pro proposals as well as all of the project reports so i'm also excited for that so stay tuned for this video and let's meet in the next video bye bye